It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the bear. <laughs> <laughs> we got some sprinkles, golden sugar. Ooh, icing. Ooh, here's some red icing. Ooh, green. Yellow. And white. Now to get our cookies. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Here's my gingerbread boy cookie. I need one for branch too. Uh, whew, there you go. It's a Christmas ornament cookie. I think I got everything. We're almost ready to decorate our cookies. The only one missing is Guy Diamond. Hmm. He should be here pretty soon. He said he was just going to get some things. I'm here. Sorry about that. Oh, there you are. No worries. I'm glad you're here. But wait, I thought you got some things. Oh, yes. I got us more sprinkles. Whoa. You know what they say. Can't have enough sprinkles. <laughs> Come on. Let's get this decorating started. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Well, I said this was going to be a gingerbread boy, but I think I want to make this one a gingerbread girl. Ooh, let's make her super cute. Ah, I like that idea, Poppy. For our gingerbread girl, let's make her a skirt. We're going to start off here. And we're going to go here. And then let's get our yellow icing. We'll fill this up. A little bit more. Almost there. Ah, I like that skirt. Now let's put some glitters on it with our sugar. Ooh, that's right. That's what the sugar is for. It's gonna look like it's shimmering. Ooh, nice. Next, let's make her beautiful face. We need the icing for the sprinkle to stick onto the cookie. One eye. Two eyes. And now let's give her a smiling face. A smiling face it is. Cutie! Now let's give her a shirt. I have green icing for that. And then let's put some white icing dots. And we'll add some sprinkles on it. Green, snowflake, red, another red, and another green. Ta-da! And let's line this up with another icing. We'll give her some red shoes. How about her hands? Oh, I love it! Hmm, what else are we missing? Hmm. Oh, a bow! Our gingerbread girl needs a bow! Oh, that's right, of course! Let's get our yellow icing for that! We're going to put a red dot in the middle. Yay! Oh, she's so cute. I'm going to name her Sophia. Sophia, that's a beautiful name. Wait a second. Our gingerbread girl needs a gingerbread boy. Well, in that case, instead of an ornament, I want to decorate a gingerbread boy. Great idea, Guy Diamond. Oh, that is the plan indeed. Let's give him a pair of pants. Let's use our white icing to line up his pants.
And then we'll use our green icing. And we'll use our toothpick to fill it up. Uh, it looks kind of weird. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add more green on the line. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better that way. And then we're gonna create some shoes on him. Now what design can we put for his pants? How about we use these sprinkles? That's right, let's do that. Ooh, we'll fill it up for sure. Oh, that's so cute! Now let's make his eyes and his mouth. Uh-huh. Eyes. And then here's the mouth. Okay, he looks cold. He's going to need a shirt. Yes, he does. There we go. And we're going to do polka dot sprinkles on it. Now the hands. Hmm, what else are we missing, Guy Diamond? Hmm, oh, a bow tie. Oh, that's right. Of course! If our gingerbread girl has a bow, our gingerbread boy has a bow tie. There! Oh, he's so cute! I'm going to call him Kolobok! Oh, that's such a unique name! Kolobok! I love it! Yay! Besties, meet Sophia and Kolobok, our gingerbread girl and boy. We did a great job, Guy Diamond. We sure did. Till next time, besties. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye. Bye. It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Ooh, I see strings, pendants, charms, and beads. Oh, are we making necklaces today, Viva? Yes, we are. One for you, one for me, and some extras. Yippee! So exciting! Okay, Poppy, which string color would you like to use? Purple, please. Just like my highlights on my hair. <laughs> oh, I see that. Let's get purple. And I'm thinking you would want to use your very own pendant, right? You got it. Okie dokie. Let's get to it. For Poppy, I'm going to use this blue clear flower bead. And then I'm gonna mix that up with some green, pink, a blue musical note charm, and a yellow clear flower bead. I'm also gonna add the shimmery clear circular bead. Let's put in the pendant. And now we just have to repeat the pattern, but the other way around. So we're gonna start off with the clear glittery round bead then the yellow flower let's not forget the charm pink green and the clear blue flower bead let's close it up at the end we're done oh this necklace is super cute there we go i made it work for her for viva i'm guessing she would like the pink string right you got it that's exactly what i like oh perfect I'm going to use all clear beads. I think that'll be fun. <laughs> I'm also going to use all the different colors. Of course, let's not forget the musical note charm. Ta-da! That's just one end. Let's get our Viva pendant and more beads. Purple, blue, yellow, 
Whoa, Viva's necklace is loaded with beads. Check me out, I love it! It looks great on you, Viva! I can't wait for our other besties to have their necklaces too. Uh, when you say besties, you mean me, right? And also me, right? I'm pretty sure it includes me too. <laughs> yes, 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 it includes all three of you. Let's make one for sprinkles. Let's get one of these pendants. I'm thinking this is Branch or is it John Doyle? Um, this is Floyd and this is Clay. I could be wrong with those names, but they are all trolls band together characters. That's for sure. We're gonna start off with some blue, clear bead, purple, and yellow. One musical note charm, blue flower, yellow, and green. Then we'll get the pendant, yellow. This time I want to use a different color of charm. Yellow, purple, and blue. Dun, 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 dun. Here's how it looks like on sprinkles. Cute! Here's a necklace that I made for Super Essie. Oh yeah! And here's the necklace that I made for Wizard Nat. It's super cool! I think so too. Alright besties, thank you so much for joining me and helping me create this super awesome, super adorable Trolls necklaces! I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time! Remember to stay super duper! And spread magic everywhere you go! Bye! It's Nat and Essie. Plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> hey Poppy, say it's raining fabric. Huh? Uh, it's raining fabric. Uh, whoa, what was that? <laughs> it rained fabric. Well, you see, you and I, we both don't have a colorful scrunchie on our hair. We should make our very own scrunchies. You're right. These clear hair ties are great, but DIY scrunchies sound way more fun. Uh-huh, and I got everything we need. We have the fabrics. I also have here two different colors of elastic cords, one thicker white elastic, a fabric glue, a bag of sequins, whoops, and scrunchie locks. Oh, and of course the scrunchie maker. Nice! Viva, you came prepared! Well, let's begin! First thing we need is a set of purple elastic cording locks. We're gonna need this one with a thick circular base and this one with a thin vertical base. Okay, Poppy, which fabric here would you like to use for your scrunchie? Ooh, this one has my picture on it. I wanna use this one. You got it. Next, I'm gonna get the purple elastic and I'm going to cut 10 inches of it. So I have my ruler here and there's 10 inches. Next, we're going to thread in that cord inside the lock and then we're going to create a knot at the end of the cord. Next, we're going to put the locks on each end of the scrunchie maker tool. I think I made the cord a little too long, so I'm just going to shorten it up. Now let's get our super fun fabric here and we're going to slide it inside the pink barrel of the scrunchie maker tool. Then we're going to lock this up using these latches and now we can scrunch up our fabric the way we want to. That should be good. Let's take out the locks from each end of the barrel. Now it's time to lock it in place. We're almost there. Now all we have to do is use our fabric glue to seal the stitch edges together. Press it on really well. We're going to let that dry and voila! We have our scrunchie! And there is Poppy! <gasps> My very own scrunchie! This is trolltastic! I know, right? Let's go ahead and use it on your hair. Oh, uh, voila! Oh, so cute! Okay, Viva, it's your turn. Which of these fabrics would you like to use for your scrunchie? Ooh, so many options. 
I'll go with this purple velvet fabric. Nice choice. Let's get our set of locks again. Let's thread it in, knot. Do the same thing on the other side. Let's go to our scrunchie maker and put the locks on each end of the barrel. Then we have our fabric. Let's go ahead and cover the barrel with it. We can use these locks to hold the shape of our scrunchie together. Now let's take out the locks and lock it up. Now let's get our glue and we're going to glue up the end. Press it on together and voila! Ooh, almost done! I want to bedazzle it with these sequins! Good idea, Viva! And to make that happen, all we have to do is put some glue on the spots where we want the sequins on. And then we just press the sequin onto the glue. For best results, it's best if you let the glue dry overnight. But we'll try to make it work for now. Of course, you can put as many sequins as you like, but here is how it looks like with just a little bit of sequins. It looks glam already. Glam is my jam. Oh, that rhymes, Viva. Okay, let's put it on you. There we go, looking fabulous. We can also create a scrunchie with two different colors of fabrics. So for example, we have here this teal colored fabric that's silk. And we can combine that with our velvety yellow fabric. Release the locks. Take it out. And then you just have to glue the ends together. And this is how it's gonna look like. That is so fun. Let's do another one. This time around, I'm going to use, this time around, I'm going to use this troll print fabric. And I'm gonna mix that with the velvety blue fabric. How cool is that? Also, if you don't wanna use locks with your scrunchie, we can get a longer cord. This time we're gonna use the white elastic cord. You just have to make sure that we have a lot of extra on both ends. Now we put the fabric in. Take it out. And we can use that end to secure the scrunchie. And then we just glue up the ends. Now we have so many extra scrunchies. Hmm, who are we gonna give this to? Ahem, <coughs> I would like a scrunchie. I can use it for my hair bun. Oh, wizard net, yes, of course. Which one would you like? Uh, I'll get this one. Great choice, let's put it on you. Ta-da, <laughs> nice. Oh, I would like one too. Sure thing, Super Ezzy. Which one would you like? I like me some velvet. Here we go. But wait, you don't have hair. <laughs> Since we can't really use it onto your hair, let's just put it on your body. <laughs> just like that. Uh, can I have one too? Of course, Sprinkles. Hmm, where can we put this scrunchie? Maybe we can put it right on here. <laughs> That's so silly. I love it. Woohoo, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, besties, for helping me create all these super cute and super fun Trolls Scrunchies. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time in our next Arts and Crafts video. Essie here for Nat and Essie. Stay super duper and spread scrunchy magic everywhere you go. <laughs> Bye. It's Nat and Essie plus Sprinkles the Bear. <laughs> Hey besties, have you heard of a mosaic? If you haven't, let me tell you a little bit about it. A mosaic is something like this. It is a decoration on a surface made by setting small pieces of glass, tile, or stone of different colors into another material. So it creates this fun picture or pattern. Oh, I know that's a lot to take in, but don't worry. We'll show you how to make it. I'm super ready. Let's do it!
first thing we want to do is to make our workstation. So here I'm just using paper towel and then I'm going to use this template here to design the mosaic that I want to do today. Ooh, a heart-shaped mosaic. That sounds fun. For our particular mosaic, we are going to use glass tiles. Here I have different shapes and colors of it. Let's have fun. Let's use all the different colors and shapes. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's put some squares here. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. The important thing is to just get an idea of how we want our mosaic to look. So we have yellow and blue and red and pink. Orange, blue, there we go. Now that we've created our template, let's mix our plaster. To do that, we are going to need a container. Let's pour our slow dry plaster mix. Let's get a mixing stick and we're going to create a little well in the middle. And then we're going to pour three tablespoons of warm tap water inside. And we're going to gently mix it up, starting from the inside and working our way out. Now let's get our mold, put all of the mix inside. We're just going to let this sit for 30 minutes. And now that 30 minutes is done, it's time for the best part. Putting the glass tiles on. Here we go. Now we're going to let this sit overnight and come back tomorrow. And welcome back! Are you guys ready to see the finished product? Oh, you're gonna love it! Be right back! Here it is! The stones have set and the plaster is ready to be taken out of the mold. Voila! Oh, that is super cool! And look, I made another design too! And it turned out great! Oh wow, Poppy! That's perfect! I know! We can hang this onto the treehouse. And this one, we can display it on this side. It looks beautiful on there! Thank you besties for joining Viva and I in this arts and crafts activity! Mosaic making is so much fun! See you next time! Bye! Bye!